hi everyone welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to learn the make.com automation we will place the order at shopify and we will get the order information and save that into the google sheet so how we can do that let's create a new scenario and from here you can select you can select shopify but i am i'm not going to select shopify i will select webhook so i will click on webhook and custom webhook create a custom webhook and name it whatever you like in my case uh, listen shopify orders and save that so in this address if you copy this copy this address shopify will send us the order information over this webhook url so let's go to the shopify and go to the settings and go to the notification and then click on the webhooks and create a new webhook and we need to subscribe that webhook so we will find order order creation and we will add the webhook url here and we can use the latest version now whenever the whenever we receive any order at the shopify we will we will get the shopify order object at this webhook url so let's try to add a new order in the shopify and let's see what we get so i will continue to the payment method and i will use bogus gateway uh, three zero one two three and let's place the order now my order is placed and if i go here and you will see we have successfully received the data so if i run this module only and let's try to let's try to post another order okay go back to the wixdo checkout again and to cart go to the checkout and let's place this order again continuing the payments one three zero and dummy security code pay now and order is complete let's go back here and run that again and use the existing data now you can see we have received the order information of the shopify this in the bundle this is the id of the order 2010 and all the uh, order information we get over here and now we can use this information in in the shopify order google sheet so we can send this to the google sheet let's create the new module google sheet add this and from here you will select uh, shopify i have created the shopify shopify order data and so i will select the sheet name and now in case one uh, i will add uh, let's say um, 
my email address the email email of the customer and the next one we will add the financial status and in the next we will add the order number the name and similarly what else we can do let me check uh, the billing address uh, we can use the first name the address one address one and the city and the zip uh, sorry the zip and country and we can get etc and uh, also the customer id we can and let me find the line item the product they we bought so current 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 uh, one second card item okay here are the line items and from here we can get the uh, product title which is about so I will drag over here the product title the quantity they bought and the variant title as well so let's save that and run this run this module again and use the existing data and now you can see we have successfully entered the value into the google sheet and if you go here and you will see the google sheet uh, uh, is populated automatically so let me just uh, uh, change the setting of this let's save that and from here we will we will make it whenever the order is saved it will automatically run this module so let's save that the next time when we place the order the data will be added automatically in the google sheet so let's try to uh, order again in the website and this time we will we will choose uh, this product and buy it and now, now let's try to add some other name let's say Sad Ali and change the address uh, and continue the continue the shopping shipping and continue to payment and we will use the bogus payment gateway and you can give whatever you want and pay now now we place the order and if we go back to the shopify order data we will wait a few seconds and now as you can see we have uh, a new entry new order number and the name of the and the address and the product they bought and if we go to the orders you will see we have do two three orders online store they are paid okay so this this is how you can uh, you can post this data to somewhere else whenever you receive the order in the shopify you you can send to your vendor your supplier automatically by using the make.com so what we can do we can add another module uh, something like this uh, uh, HTTP you can make the uh, post request something like make a request and from here you can post a request and enter the URL where you would like to send this information and in the body you can send all the information which required to post the order to the third party like uh, you are getting your product from a supplier 
and whenever you receive the order in the shopify you can post that order to your to, to your supplier website by using their api and you can add their api url and the method and the conditions header etc whatever and you can save and it will run automatically whenever you receive any order into the shopify so i hope this will make sense to you Please let me know if you have any question. Thank you and I will see you in the next video.